what's up guys um i've been wanting to make this video just like every other bitch says for so fucking long basically <laughs> 2018 i want to talk about it a little bit specifically i know in our last video me and my cousin kind of talked about like how the year was crazy and you know we did a lot of self-realization and whatnot but um which is all yes very true and I know everyone had a really crazy year, mostly everyone. But what I wanted to talk about specifically was love <laughs> during 2018. Um, I said it a couple months ago. I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but I have noticed, and maybe it's just because I went through something that was really major to me, that just a lot of couples broke up in the year of 2018. Like, and I mean everyone, like celebrities, youtubers people on social media friends people around me like family like literally so many fucking people and i don't know why like i don't know if it's just something that like i've noticed or like i don't know i i don't know but i just feel like it's it was very excessive in this past year and it just really made me like question and wonder like why like what's going on like why can't love when like why are all these couples like that i thought were gonna get married and like be together forever and seemed like they were perfect for each other like why are they breaking up you know i don't know like of course like everyone i just had a lot of questions um and then of course you know i <laughs> went through something very very crazy and insane and intense yes You want some blueberries? Hell yeah, want some blueberries. <laughs> Wait, all of these? Don't give me all these. I'll take some. Here. They're big. I ate all the big ones. Mm, bomb. Thank you. You're welcome. Glamour. She's a gangster. Giving me snacks. Every time I tell someone the full story, they look at me and they're like, what the fuck? I have no reason to lie. I have no reason to make anything up. I fucking have nothing to gain from this telling the story of what happened to me and i really want to talk about it fully because it's that insane and it's honestly very interesting but right now at the moment um i don't want to say i can't really talk about it fully because i can do whatever the fuck i want i just am choosing not to fully talk about everything right now but i do just kind of want to briefly talk about like just a little bit of the experiment the experience basically uh i was in a relationship for i don't fucking know like a year and some change and it was the most toxic roller coaster game playing um mind fuck i took a lot of lessons from this relationship I feel like maybe the greatest lesson was I realized my power and my worth. It really showed my ability and, and what I am capable of and what I deserve to have. So it, and it's, it's, it's hard to, to, to talk about it when I'm not really telling the full story. We paint a picture of who this person was that I was with. Um, was an older, you know, somewhat successful, I guess, um, man who I thought, you know, he's older, oh, he's successful, he has, he has a good job, um, you know, he has his shit straight, like, he has his head on his shoulders, he, he wouldn't fuck around, um, He's not gonna, why is he gonna lie to me? Why is he gonna bullshit? He's old, he's older, he's mature, you know? I don't trust a lot of people, I, I really don't. Um, and I said that in the beginning of this, going into this relationship with this person, I, I, and this person knew, you know, could see that I had this wall, this insane, huge, brick, 5,000 feet tall wall, and, um, and he and he knew that I didn't trust people and I didn't let people in and I fully trusted this person and I fully let him in like completely like more than anyone 
I've ever met. Um, and then that person, you know, totally just stabbed me in the fucking back is basically what happened. And I was completely lied to and I was completely played and I was completely, um, and not just played and lied to, it was, I was being told that I was crazy, that I was psycho, that I was toxic. I must have been on drugs and I was believing those things and I was making myself go crazy and I, um, I was really in probably the worst, darkest place with this person and it's really crazy because I was trying not to believe it and I was trying to hide it but I, I, I've never, and I've never felt that down, I've never felt that insecure, I've never felt that lonely like it i mean i mean this person made it seem so great in the beginning you know like most people do um and then you know you you get to know him and basically we move too fucking fast and i'm a lot to take in i'm i'm not saying you know i'm perfect and that i did absolutely nothing i'm i definitely had a fair share of toxicity and problems and whatever the fuck but I don't think anyone deserves to be lied to or cheated on or you know manipulated and it's just um yeah it's just really fucking crazy how you can be in love with someone or think that you're in love with someone and you're almost convincing yourself and telling yourself to change or to be a certain way because you love this person and you want to be with this person um so it's i you know i would tell myself like it's a compromise i'm like okay shelby like you have to give this up you have to you have to stop thinking this because it's gonna this is how it's gonna be with this person so uh, you know kind of deal with it or get over it and <clears throat> that's what i did that entire relationship um we had absolutely nothing in fucking common like literally nothing obviously i was blinded by the fucking money and the gifts and the expensive things we were doing and of any any female would like let's let's be honest like any female especially coming from where i come from is gonna be fucking blinded by all of that of course um but yeah, I was told some really insane things like, I mean, and and that was the manipulation part that this person, you know, was telling me all of these things that I felt he really made me feel like he had never told anyone these things. And I, and I had never heard these things from uh, anyone, any, any man, especially my cousin told me the other day, you know, if, if a man seems like he's too good to be true, it's because he is. And I wish I would have like took it like took that into consideration like when I met this person because it was it was like oh you know he's successful he's older he's good looking he's kind he's this he's that and then basically I moved in with this person and I saw how he really was and he saw how I really was and I don't know I tried to change myself he tried to change me and I did change I some for the better and most was not me um i didn't feel like myself basically since the day i got involved with that with him um yeah i completely changed i changed my views on certain things i changed how i was talking i changed how i was acting i changed so many things because I really thought that I was going to have like my future like I was going to be with this man for the rest of my life and I gave up a lot of things and I missed out on a whole lot of things and I stopped talking to so many people this person isn't just one person he is like multiple people he's one person when he's around his family he was one person when he was around work he was one person when he was around friends and then he was another person when he was around me. So I don't really know who the fuck the real person was. Like I, I, I like to think that it was 
he was real when he was around me, but I don't, I mean, I, I have no idea. We broke up and, you know, we were on good terms and it was fine and we left it as friends. And then everything came out. <laughs> the truth came out. Like, what's the, what do they say? Like, um, time will tell basically is what the fuck happened. Every instinct and every, or not instinct, every thought that I had, like my instinct was telling me that something was wrong, that like he was messing around or just doing something. I was fucking right. And I found out the truth and everything basically came out. And I don't know, it's just, it's so, so insane. Um, I like, I wanna tell you guys the whole fucking story. Like I wanna say everything right now. Soon, very soon. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to like, again, like 2018, it was, I kept saying like, is it the year love dies? Like I'm just noticing all these couples and then I like my situation and I just, I don't know, I like, I guess what I would like want my point of like all of this to talk about is, um, you know, before I got into this relationship, I was very uh, secure. Is that I'm not wasn't insecure, you know, like I was very, very sure of myself. I was very confident and I whatever I wanted, I got. I was very, very happy with myself, with just a lot of things I was I was. I was in a good place and I guess that's why I felt like I was ready to get into this relationship because I felt like I was so good you know with myself that I, I was like okay I'm ready to accept you know love from someone else and then I got fucking stabbed in every fucking inch of me um on in the back in the heart in the mind uh, got fucked basically um, but it's it's so crazy because I feel like not a, I feel I know that it had to happen to me um, almost as like a smack in the face like yo Shelby wake up like you can't always get everything that you want and you're not gonna get your or something that you think you want and you think you need so bad is not always gonna be for you it's not gonna be the right thing for you and that was, you know, another fucking lesson that I learned. Like, cause when I met this person, I every day would be like, I want him, I want him, I want him. Watch me, I'm gonna marry him. Watch me, I'm gonna get him. And I did get him. And it was one of those like, see, I always get what I want. And then boom, like I got a big fucking wake up call. I'm definitely feeling more like myself. I'm feeling more like Shelby. I am not fully, um, not fully, fully, fully good, but I, I'm definitely, definitely definitely better <laughs> like i i i lost 20 pounds being actually i lost it real quick because of what happened in january which is the biggest part of this entire story um which is what i want to talk about in the next one <laughs> i lost 20 pounds and for me that's a lot because i'm i only weighed 135 so I, it's not like i was this big person um, so now, you know, I'm like trying to gain my weight back. I'm, I'm really trying to just get myself back. A bitch doesn't want to cry. Like I've cried so much over this person. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. That was another thing. I, I'm not a crier. I, I don't cry. You can ask anyone that's around me. Like I don't cry. And I cried <laughs> so much. In this relationship, I have never, I, I guarantee you I didn't even cry that much when I was a baby. Like, I swear to God, I was probably crying every other day. <laughs> and you're probably like, why the fuck did you stay? I guess hope is what made me, you know, stay. I, I, I wanted it to work so bad. I, I remembered back to all the times that I came home and was like, Oh my gosh, you know, I, I I love him already, like, and I wasn't even with him. You know, I, I again, like, I'm the, I'm the person that speaks things into existence. I get what I want. I want something, I fucking get it. I work to it, and I get it. 
and I did that with this person and it was almost like I'm I felt like I was giving up I felt like I was throwing away something that I wanted so bad and I it would be a mistake so I tried and I worked and I tried to change and I tried to stop thinking things and I tried to stop saying things and I tried everything and anything that I could possibly do myself and it wasn't enough for him now I understand um, that it wasn't just that it wasn't enough for him it was just that he was uh, being a fucking pussy and didn't want to break up with me uh, and again in future videos I'll explain why but I can't right now <laughs> also a reason why I didn't want to come back to Whittier to be honest I didn't want to come back and live with my mom and grandma again. I, I, it's just the honest truth. I, I love my mom and grandma. I really do. But in where we were living, where I was living before, it was a tiny, tiny apartment. If anyone of you know me, you know this apartment. Like, I did not want to come back there. I did not. You know, so many of us, it's like obviously everyone wants to be with someone, and no one wants to die alone. And you know, being lonely sucks. Um, but ladies, don't ever lose yourself like in love. Don't lose yourself being with someone. I imagine, you know, now I know, um, love is it's going to be with somebody that is going to encourage me and push me and and accept me and my past and everything that I want to do for my future is you know it's it's not going to be someone that's going to try to change you and isn't going to accept you just don't lose yourself like don't forget who you fucking are and don't forget what it is that you want to do what is it that you like what is it like it's not always about the other person and, it, and it's great if you guys can both be 50 50 with pleasing the other but that person's also pleasing you but just please like don't lose yourself it's just it's not fair it's not fair to you and please 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 do not ignore your instinct do not ignore your instinct i and well, i mean i know everybody obviously they have an instinct me i like to think that i'm psychic a little bit <laughs> which is a whole other video that i would love to talk about like I literally have dreams and then I wake up and they happen or um, just it's like an, an act of knowingness like I don't like a vision almost I don't know it's really crazy I want to talk about it but that's again a whole other video but I know we all have instincts and especially in women I feel like women are just we're we are I feel like we're just more connected with the universe I mean we fucking make lives humans come out of us girls just know shit we do we really fucking do and again like when you have that feeling that instinct you're not crazy don't let him fucking tell you that you're crazy don't let him manipulate you and look at you and say well you might just be thinking those things that's why you're that's why you're thinking that that's why you're dreaming those things don't fucking let him <laughs> yeah fucking guys why are you guys so dumb <laughs> Oh, it's just like I know there's good guys out there. I know there is yeah, ladies Stay fucking strong like is all I could really say Stay true to yourself Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I just feel like I noticed a lot of women going through things this year um, And it I don't know it just kind of made me you know, I dealt with my shit and it made me inspired to just talk about it it's fine like we fucking fail at sh shit all the time we, and relationships they're not always gonna work and even when you really thought and even felt in your heart that like this person was the one you know you have to take it as a lesson you have to take a step back and think okay well what was the reason like why you know because me i keep I keep thinking like I wasted a whole year of my life, my entire 23 year, my, I'm 24 now, 23 was the biggest waste of my fucking life. 
and it sucks like 23 like that's my prime you know what i mean like that is the time where i should be going out and doing this and going here and and it was one of the worst years of my life love is a mother fucker <laughs> Allison said, I, she tweeted it one time, she's like, love is brainwash. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if I, if that was love, you know, like what I was in. Um, maybe that was brainwash. Cause I, I don't think love, like real true love with, you know, like your soulmate, um, like those things would happen those things, that that person would do these things to me. Um, it's insane. It's real insane. <laughs> I want to talk about everything that happened and from start to finish because it's a really, really, really insane story. It's like interesting and it is a big eye opener. And when I, every time I say it, I feel like a dumbass because I'm just like, Shelby, you're a fucking idiot. Like, how did you not realize? How did you not get out of that shit, like, when it happened? But, again, it was a fucking lesson I had to learn. What can I say? Your girl is back. She's single as fuck. So hit me up. No, I'm just kidding. Basically, stay single, ladies. Just stay single as long as you fucking can <laughs> until you really find someone that's loyal and accepts you for you you feel me all right well thanks for listening to me ramble again stay tuned for um my videos explaining furthermore leave me some comments did you go through some crazy love shit this year i'd love to hear it because y'all ain't ready for mine <laughs>